Good morning, Bethlehem. I'm Bernice of Bethany, and together with me, I'm Evan of Ephesus. Welcome to Bethlehem Channel 5, your most accurate news channel, delivered fresh to you. Downtown Bethlehem is all abuzz. Just a few days after Caesar Augustus's new census law, Bethlehem has experienced a population explosion. All people are pouring in from far and near to register themselves. They have to travel back to their individual hometowns and stay there until the census is over. Here in Bethlehem, we are experiencing congestion on the streets and more importantly, a shortage of housing. Watch our field reporter, Seth of Samaria, in downtown Bethlehem to update us on the current situation. Thank you, Evan. The census issued by Caesar Augustus has brought thousands back to Bethlehem. Our streets are jam-packed with people, camels, and donkeys. They are all looking for a place to stay. I have one of the travelers with me, Miss Joanna of Jericho. Please share with us about your journey to Bethlehem. I'm so glad I came here as soon as I hear the news. Otherwise, I would be like the many who are still looking for a room. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> yes, Bethlehem Hotels are doing a brisk business and it seems like we are running out of hotel rooms. Let's hear it straight from one of the innkeepers, Miss Margaret of Midian. Miss Margaret of Midian, you look very happy today. Can you tell us about the situation in your hotel? Yes, thank you. You are so right. Every single room in my hotel has been snapped up two days ago. I had to turn people away since then. I've been saying sorry, sorry, sorry too many times. But just yesterday, I couldn't say sorry to this young couple. The wife was pregnant and she was about to give birth. My heart just went out to them. The only place I could offer was my stable. What? This is unbelievable. Who would be so desperate to stay in your stable? You mean together with your animals? Yes, correct. I simply couldn't chase them away, as the woman was very, very pregnant. Thank you for sharing with us. This is Seth reporting for Bethlehem Channel 5, your most accurate news channel. Back again with us, Evan of Ephesus. And me, Bernice of Bethany. This is Bethlehem Channel 5, your most accurate news channel, delivered fresh to you. Tell me, Evan, have you looked up recently into the beautiful clear skies of Bethlehem at night? Top of the headlines involves a bizarre star, unlike any other stars we have ever seen before. Yes, this star is really special because it shines way brighter than all the rest of the stars. Not only that, scholars say that this star is not an ordinary star. Our field reporter, Michelle of Macedonia, is now with three scholars who have travelled from afar. Let's listen to what they have to say. Thank you, Evan of Ephesus and Bernice of Bethany. Here with me, I have three scholars. Share with us what you know about the bright star. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to share our heart's desire. The three of us have a theory, a similar belief, as we studied what was written in the ancient scrolls of the Hebrews' writings, especially their prophecies. The three of us came to the same conclusion that a new king, the long-awaited Messiah, was to be born around this time. So when all three of us had the same feeling that we should go on in search of this Messiah, we made preparations for a long trip to Jerusalem and Israel. We didn't know the exact spot, but as we set out one night when we were resting, lo and behold, we saw this brilliant star in the sky. The next night, we saw it again. It appeared to be moving, so I suggested why not follow the star? From that time on, instead of traveling in the day, we slept and traveled at night. Yes, we have prepared gifts for this special baby, our new king, our long-awaited messiah. But the sad thing is no one seems to know about his arrival, only the three of us. We can't wait to meet him so we can worship him. Wow! Thank you, gentlemen, for sharing your belief with us. 
If any one of you in Bethlehem knows about this special baby, be sure to let us know through our hotline here on the screen. This is all for now. Back to studio with Bernice of Bethany and Evan of Ephesus. Good morning from Bethlehem Channel 5, your most accurate news channel with the latest delivered fresh to you. Our hottest news has to do with another extraordinary phenomenon that happened last night. You're right. Let's join our field reporter who are with a group of shepherds. Late last night, while tending their sheep, they witnessed something extra extraordinary. Yes, I'm standing here with the shepherds who had an extraterrestrial experience. Gentlemen, please tell us what you saw. Wow, oh, it was like a dream. The most magical thing I ever seen. We were all sound asleep. When one of my friends kicked me, I woke up to a bright winding light. After blinking the sleepiness from my eyes, I saw an angel with wings and all. After that, we heard the most beautiful song by a whole host of angels. They sang glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to men. My goose pimples all stood up. I've never heard such melodious music ever before. We have to run all the way and have just arrived in Bethlehem to look for the baby who is lying in a manger. I will never forget what the angel said. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. First, a bright moving star and now angels. What will we see next? Reporting for Bethlehem Channel 5. Back to you, Bernice of Bethany and Evan of Ephesus. How exciting, unbelievable. We will be reporting any updates of this baby messiah and king in our next news bulletin. Tune in to Bethlehem Channel 5 for more information. Bethlehem Channel 5, your most accurate news channel, delivered fresh to you. We bring you breaking news. All our reporters are now, at locate, are now located at the most prominent place at the moment. This is a place where the newborn king is. Our field reporters have now rushed to the location that the shepherds have discovered, the baby in a manger. Yes, no fancy hospital room or a royal palace, but a humble stable. Bethlehem Channel 5 reporters, over to you. As you all can see, we are here in the stable. To my right, you can see the three wise men I met earlier offering their gifts, paying their respect to the newborn king. Unbelievable! But it does seem like the prophecies they study are being fulfilled. What a miracle! Where exactly is the location of the stable? Tell us more about the baby. Yes, Evan, we're in the middle of the town of Bethlehem. Remember the innkeeper I interviewed earlier on? He's the owner of the stable. The parents of the baby are the young, desperate couple who was begging for a roof over their head as the woman was very close to delivering her baby. Their names are Joseph and Mary and their baby is called Jesus. The shepherds are also here. This must be the baby the angels were talking about. Everyone is celebrating the birth of baby Jesus. This place is brimming with love, peace and joy. Back to you, Evan of Ephesus and Bernice of Bethany. Thank you, Seth of Samaria, Michelle of Macedonia and Isaac of Antioch for the live report. What a remarkable event. Can you believe it? From the new census law issued by Caesar Augustus to the brilliant star to the singing angels in the sky, we came to one final news. The good news that a new baby, the king of all kings, the long-awaited Messiah, has been born. Thank you so much for tuning in with us. I'm Evan of Ephesus. And I'm Bernice of Bethany. The rest of Bethlehem Channel 5 crew wish you a very meaningful Christmas and a blessed Sabbath. Until next time.